Good morning, everybody. So there's a couple of people I'd just like to introduce before we go any further and start talking about the wonderful achievements that Megan performed here at OCU. That's um, her, her mom, Connie, would you please stand up, please? Um, where's Mike? Mike? And Adam, her husband, is that her mum and dad, and also her husband, who played at Oklahoma City University, Adam Black. Okay. Let's have a I first saw Megan play at uh, Putnam City North High School. Uh, she was a hello. She was a she was a uh, sophomore, and uh, the coach was very wise. It was one of those evenings in March where the wind blows a lot. So the coach was real clever, the coach at Putnam City North. He played Megan as a sweeper, which is kind of like a safety in football, against the wind in the first half, and then played her as a striker in the second half. They won 3-0. Guess who scored three? So anyway, so Megan scored three. So it's, uh, it's unbelievable. Um, she really changed things at OCU. We, we had a a team that was mediocre, and then we had someone, like Jim said, come in and just, we locked the door and got that key and, and signed it as a player. She scored 16 goals her first game, her first year, with uh, three assists. She scored 23 goals her second season with 10 assists. She scored 27 goals her third season, which, I changed her position in third year. I dropped her deeper in the field, and that was she scored more goals there than she ever scored before. She, if you notice as well, as time went on, so did her assists. She, she really players around her started to understand the way she played and how they could support her and, and get balls to her. So it was absolutely unbelievable. I think her record was seventy. 74 goals over the period of play and also 26 assists. She was a three-time All-American. She was a four-time SAC Conference Player of the Year. She was a team captain on the team that won four, four championships and took us to the national tournament um, three years in a row. So, she did her job. She made me look like a real good coach. <laughs> so anyway, but uh, one of the before we introduce Megan, one of the things I we got along great. I mean, we're, we're really good friends. But one of the things that we we were at the national tournament in uh, Alabama, and um, the girls had an opportunity to uh, do two or three things. We could do a soccer clinic. We could go to a senior home and call bingo, which Megan said, hey, yeah, that sounds great, let's do that. So we went to the senior home and we were in there and there was a gentleman there and nobody had seen him for six months, he stayed in his room, but when he saw all these young ladies, beautiful young ladies, he put his uniform on him, he was a colonel, and he, he came down and played bingo with us and didn't want us didn't want any of the girls to leave. Eventually we got into his room and we said cheerio and, uh, and Megan came back to me and she said, it's okay coach, we're not gonna leave you here. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna take you, we're gonna take you back to the team bus. So with saying all of that, uh, I want to introduce to you Megan McMahon, Megan Black, uh, Megan Goldstorer, um, just a great, player, great person, and a great student, and a great representation of OCU. Make a place. Thank you. 
guys. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I am beyond grateful to be here. Uh, I will try to be quick, but there's a lot of people taking credit to uh, the success here at OC. So first of all, I feel so honored to be uh, standing here with incredible athletes like Aria and Emily. Uh, they did incredible things at OCU, and I know that we've never really met, but I know who you guys are. I still remember going to my dad's house on the other side of Oklahoma City and would literally see Aria running down May Avenue almost every day. And by the time I got back to the university, still somehow beat me every time. And I remember seeing Emily all the time around campus going, I know she's so little, but she could take me down with just her at any moment if she wanted to. So, thank you guys for letting me share this day with you. Um, thank you, Mr. Abbott, for giving me this opportunity and award and believing in me even after freshman year when I brought expired cans to the food drive. <laughs> thank you for giving me a second chance and everything you've done for the athletes in this university. Um, I want to say a big thank you to all my teammates that I played with during college. Uh, with a lot of these goals were also a lot of risks and uh, failures that I got away with because of you guys. So, thank you. Um, Cheryl, thank you for always outworking everyone and making sure the rest knew when they made a bad call against me. <laughs> uh, I want to say thank you to my dad. Um, even though a lot of my time on the field was spent yelling at you, <laughs> to be quiet, I wouldn't have gone as far as I did without you. Um, so thank you. Thank you, my mom, for being here all the way from California. It means a lot to me. Um, thank you to my husband, Adam Black, for being here, even though they're playing right now. It means a lot to me. <laughs> um, I know I can thank him for real because I know I tried a little bit harder when I knew he was at my games. Uh, I also want to thank my niece Tatum for making sure everyone knows that she will come to OCU one day and she will be my record. <laughs> thank you, Max. I love you, too. Uh, also, shout out to my fit fam for being here. Woo! Thank you, guys. Um, I want to say thank you to the coaching staff. I've played a lot. Uh, played for a lot of coaches in my lifetime, but I never played for coaches like the ones at OCU. Bill, Nate, Harv, thank you guys for believing in me. You guys were the first coaches that gave me so much freedom and believed in me more than I did. Uh, I hope you guys didn't cry. Hey, you will never know how powerful it is to believe in a player who grew up thinking they were meant to be a bench player. So thank you guys. Uh, Last but not least, I want to th take this time to thank and congratulate Coach Harvey on an incredible career as the head coach of both the men and women's program. Not only does he hold the record for the most wins in women's soccer, but more importantly, he had such an impact on so many lives, uh, which I'm sure you're more proud of. Harv, I have one tiny story from your OCU career, which just goes to show how successful your time here has been. You set the bar as high as it can be for whoever is next, and I know I speak for everyone when I say, I hope they can mow as good as you. 